Hey guys, how's it doing? I hope you guys are doing well. So in this second part of the authentication and authorization, we will keep working uh, on the authentication. Now we're gonna uh, use the user A on our topology to connect to eyes to authenticate an eyes using IP, PIP. Uh, we, we will not validate the server certificate, as I said, for now, because I, I want to make a, a good introduction about how PKI works, how we can configure PKI on the uh, activity on the Windows Server 2016. So basically, let's keep working on it. We will get some good stuff coming. Uh, see you. So right now, what are we gonna do? We go to the live logs, right? Let's go to the live logs. The test user is a user that re remember that I did this on the switch. Let's go back to the switch. Basically, it's a uh, use uh, command that keeps sending the authentication to check if the server is alive or not. So admin with Cisco, enable Cisco, show run pipe section. So here we go. We have the ice server and we do a automate tester with the user with the username test user. This is just to check if the ice server is up or not. That's it. Basically, that's why we are using this one. So and uh, which interface is connected? E0 slash one. So under the E0 slash one, we don't have authentication yet. So E0 slash one, here it goes. It's under the access VLAN 22, right? So what I'm gonna do, we will apply the configurations to the E02 and see what's gonna happen. Uh, let me get the configurations here. And we have our guy here. I already passed through some of the commands that we have here. So under the E01, we are gonna apply this configuration here. So control C, conf T, interface E0 slash one, just paste it. So now dot one X is enabled on this interface. And uh, one thing that I want to show you, we, I already entered with the closed mode, right? So it is bit, right now between the user A and the authenticator, the switch, the only traffic that is allowed on that interface, it's IP. So guys, as you can see, it's pretty simple. DHCP, TFTP always blocked when the closed mode is there until they got, they got authentication. And when the open mode, it is there, we can see how traffic is passing. And this image is just to show you uh, how that works. So let's go back to uh, the switch and perform a show authentication sessions interface ethernet zero slash one details so right now the device is not sending any package right let's see what is happening let's go to the device to the supplicant so i'm gonna open this one and say save to my desktop and save as user a pc Okay, let's open the user APC, which has this account, this pre-built account. So this device, it's not part of the domain. This device is completely new. We just trying to authenticate an outside uh, device and I will show to you guys how we can do that. So here you go guys, I just added the authentication open here just to make sure that DHCP is working. So let's go back to our uh, device. Ah, and now, so let me show to you guys something. I have a rule since remember that this, uh, the DHCP server is here behind the firewall. So I had a rule that from any zone, from any search zone to any destination zone, uh, if it is RF, RF, RFC 1918 to RFC 1918, I will allow the ports that's being used for uh, the DORA process, discovery, offer, request, and acknowledgement. So to get the HCP, it's used 6.7 and 6.8. 
and there is this rule allowing this traffic i could use trust but we'll talk about the let that in the in the when we will go more deep in the acp so let's see what's gonna happen here let's go to our device to our user a and here we go we start to get some fail authentication right so it's failing we can check eyes first let's go back to eyes pretty quick and see if this uh, uh, authentication attempt is trying and take a look since re remember that there is an order right so we tried dot one x first if you dot one x uh, failed we tried uh the map so right now the machine doesn't have the wired connection the the uh, dot one x enable and i will show you guys how to enable this in the in the windows uh so it's trying map and remember that our policy doesn't allow map right so that's why you're seeing the okay it sends his identity which is the mac address but it go to the default because our policy just allow dot one x so let's go to the device and see if it's gonna get an IP address at least. Here it goes. So with the authentication open in the port, which I just added this command here, no matter if the authentication is ready or not, it, it's okay or not, the switch will allow the device. This is the, let's say the the monitor mode when you use this uh, authentication loop is to monitor if the device is ready to authenticate and so on so we can use this as a test as a, a pre-implementation process so we put all the switches configure configure it with authentication loop in the ports and then we we check on eyes okay this device is okay let's say we get four areas uh, there is uh, error B and we check the switch in the error B and we check that the authentication is okay so show authentication sessions interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 details we can see that right now it's failing so it's unknown and right now it's the state is we stop it for dot one X and we stop it for map so we are not authorizer the status unauthorized so let's check our device and see if it is got an ip address so cmd and guys i always i always have to 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 say that it's a lab and sometimes this doesn't work pretty well but here goes we got an ip address 10.2.2.10 that's the ip address from my pool right so we can check that in our server uh so uh 10.2.2 address leases and here you go so the mr robert pc got the 10.2.2.10 so we are okay for the ip address so we have the ip address but there is no authentication enabled here yet so how can we enable authentication by default in the windows 10 uh, the dot one x is enabled for the wireless connection but it's not enabled for the wired connection how can i enable that we go to the services open the services and then look for wired auto config as you can see it's not running there is a way to do this with gpo i will try to show to you guys how to how to enable this automatically using a gpo on a windows server but right now we're going to do manually just so you guys see how the process from the beginning so i'm going to start this and right now i'm going to check the uh interface so we go to the control panel we go to network and sharing centers after that we go to our ethernet adapter go to properties and we'll see now that there is authentication tab if i'm not enabled this there this authentication tab does not shows up so basically what it says we enable dot one x 802.1x we are gonna use pip and here was where we can select all the ip that windows support ip tls there is no uh is not listed here it's uh, with that name it's if you're gonna use IPTLS, you're gonna use smart card or other certificates. But right now we are working only with IPPIP. So let's go to settings and take a look. Here is the option to validate or not the server certificates. 
And remember that the that I say that if the authentication method is MSF v2, we will allow it. So I'm gonna use MSF v2 and I will say does not do not validate the server certificate. So do not, doesn't matter the server certificate because ICE will send the, cer the server certificate and say, hey, this is my certificate, do you trust? And for now, we're not gonna use this option. So I'm gonna say okay here, and I will say, uh, will be user authentication, not computer, be user. And let's enable single sign on for this one. No, no single sign-on because we will try to use the Mr. Robot and we're not gonna work. So let's see it. Okay, okay. Uh, authentication failed and sometimes it brings up a pop-up requesting the, the password, the username and password. So I'm not gonna disable this network card and go to change adapter, enable again and see if it's gonna ask for the credentials. Let's see it. So since it's not, uh, sometimes it shows a pop-up say, hey, you need your credentials to authenticate. And some, sometimes does it's a Windows thing. I don't, don't know uh, exactly the reason for that. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna put the information there. So again, properties, authentication tab, additional settings, and I'm gonna say that this will be, oh, I forgot the name of the users. Which user that we have? We have uh, one minute, guys. We have uh, John. Let's get the Mart as an example. Account. So it's just Mart. So let's get Mart and use it here. So Mart with his password. And that's save and save again and authentication failed let's go to eyes and check the reason for that so we go here let's see what's gonna happen so it's still trying to use a map and the 322 the last last attempt to was 29 was eight Eight, four minutes, yeah, eight minutes ago almost. So let me do this. Just refresh again and see, we're not seeing this packet that's coming right now. So we can do, we can do again, a shut, no shut in the interface, since right now we have this, uh, the username configured. And this is a lab, sometimes this happens, sometimes just need to reload the machine, uh, reload the switch even. So let's see it. Okay, let's go to properties. Go to authentication, pip. It's keeping using pip. Go to additional settings. The credential story with the profile are invalid, so let's do it again. Let's use Mart. The password for Mart, which is supposed to be the same. Okay. Okay, and okay. Authentication failed. We should see this on ice, but we can also check on the suite. So we disable the, 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 the natural card in this in the device. So let me do this. Let me do a shut, no shut on the switch just to force it as well. Sometimes it's happening because the lab in a real world that works better. So conf -t, interface eth 0 slash 1 i hope that i did the configuration the right part shutdown no shutdown that's it let's wait a little bit no shutdown okay and now i'm gonna disable this guy here and enable again and see What's gonna happen? Authentication failed again. Show authentication sessions interface ETH 0 slash 1. Oh, I forgot the details to check more. 
So it keep try using the, oh, here you go, Mart. We have the username, but still unauthorized. So let's check on eyes what is happening. It's not reaching here, why? Let me do other thing. Let's see if Mart, which, which group Mart, Mart it is. It's from marketing. Hmm, that's very strange. That's supposed to be working since the communication is okay. So one minute, let me, let's check other things. So let's go back to our suite, right? Let's do a test, AA group radios. Uh, we're gonna say Mart with the password, which is at lab 2022, new code. It's gonna do a user reject, but it's because of the, the kind of package. Here you go, Mart came in, default, go to the default because the package is different. I will open this, but I want you to troubleshoot that first. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I will do this again, just once more, and if, if not works, I will reload everything and check again later. So additional settings, let's use Mart again at lab 2022 click ok ok authentication failed but we should see this on ice since it's not coming to ice probably it's an issue with the, the lab because it's a lab the device is not the real ones what i'm gonna do i will stop the switch i will stop the user a machine turn on the switch Turn on the machine, just wait a little bit to get these guys back and we will see if it, if, if it is working. So guys, let me do one thing. I just reloaded both and still not working, but uh, there is one thing that I want to, to show to you guys on NICE. When I'm doing lab, usually, I and I didn't do that yet, I go to here and came to uh, administration, settings, for the administration, go to protocols, and in the radios, there is one option to suppress uh, the repeated failure. So this suppress is not showing in the in the live log. So I'm gonna remove this, and let's see if we can see these faded logs and the reason for that. And it's a, we are suppressing the repeated failure, but right now we are gonna show that. But that is not a good for uh, let's say a production environment. So basically when in your deployment, you, you can start with this option, uh, disable, so you, you can disable the supers, but you have a lot of logs. So let's say that you are doing a lab at the beginning, so you, are, you have only 10 machines. So to check if the communication is okay, you can remove this option, go to administration settings radios supers and let's see if now we can see more logs of this attempt so let me just hit refresh here not yet so from the switch to here it's okay we can see it but let's go back to our guy here authentication failed let's disable authentication failed let's go to the properties and put the requested information for the username. So user authentication, let's save the credential. We're still using Mart at lab2022. Let's hit okay. Okay again. Here it goes. I think now it's okay because you can see that there's no more error. So let's check on the switch first. Show authentication. Session interface ETH 0 slash 1 details. So we can see that March is authorized right now. So, as I said, guy, it's a lab. This lab has some bugs in a real world, it's a little bit uh, more uh, accurate. So, I just need to reload the device, reload the switch, and that's it. Lab thing. Uh, so, March is authorized, and now if we go to eyes we can see the log here and take a look at the policy we reach the policy 
the policy security lab policy we go to the authentication dot one x that we just created and under the authorization we match the marketing authorization for 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 this user so basically this in we delivery an authorization profile as permit access just this right so it is working it's okay so right now we have uh, one policy ready right so, so our basic dot dot one x it's okay so uh i would i will not go through the eptls today because there is so many to explain i will show to you guys how to create an out enrollment uh for the domain so i will need to add the domain i add this device to the domain i will configure it to get the certificate uh, manually and then automatically we use the same machine to multiple users so basically the basic of dot on x is working we have some troubleshooting but just because of the it's a lab and this lab sometimes has this kind of issue i already worked with it so that's why i know that just reload on the switch and enable disable in the port works i haven't did anything else only that i just reload both devices go back disable the, the the interface enable again put the same credentials and now it's working it's a lab thing but right now we have a dot on x and the authentication works pretty well so we have this smart it's authenticated and let's go to the logs and see what we can find out during the during this process so let's open this log and i will go there is some steps a lot of steps to authenticate but i will try to explain the most important so here we can see that the whole process is started we receive a radius a radius access request we create a new session for mart we evaluating the policy group so we check the ad uh all that steps that i mentioned here it's happening remember that it is 22 steps until established but it's pretty quick uh, so basically what we have we have the username right the the authentication policy and the authorization policy and also the authorization result what we are giving to mart we are giving him the permit access so it's okay we got the some information from the endpoint there is no endpoint profile for this one i will talk about that later uh, we got the ip address uh, the authentication uh, uh, identity store is the ad uh there is this session and this session you can see that ends with uh 5d967 and if you go to the suite we see the same thing common session 5d967 uh what else you have here to check the authentication method is dot one x and the authentication protocol is pip with the ms chef v2 exactly as we prepared in the uh, uh supplicants and in eyes eyes is ready to receive this kind of connection not other so if you try eptls we need to create a new policy for eptls uh service type is framed you guys will see that every time there is a dot on x the service type will be framed when we go through the map will be cow check right and uh when it's wireless i don't remember correct but i'll try to, to show to you guys when it, it is wireless uh so basically we have some other attributes here so the destination part is 1812 that's why we have the, that rule in the firewall because it, there is a fire between the authenticator sw03 and the server uh what else you have here to show to you guys there is a lot of information here uh what else what else what else so more information about the IC policy sets, the, we got the, uh, the full name of the user, we got the OU, so this guy is on this group, where is the group, there is one place here that show the groups, where is it, so the calling station ID is the MAC address of the device, the IP address of the device, uh so the result and i think that's it so we you can go through this one there is a lot of step you can see that radius access challenge radius access requests uh evaluating the authorization policy so first it passed through the 
the authentication because the 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 username and the password is okay and then go to uh, go to evaluate the authorization policy to see if there is any match so looking for mart uh mart is founded uh curate the external group so it curate id so okay mart is from which group oh it's from the marketing so Mar i have a policy for that so that's why mart mart is allowed uh there is one place here common name security lab ad username so basically we have the authentication passage the authorization passage let's remove the authentication open from from the port so interface eth0 slash one right oops interface eth0 slash one no authentication open so right now it should be authenticated i will double wire here and i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna uh shut no shut in the switch because sometimes that doesn't work well what i will do i will first disable the port and then that will force the, the this machine to authenticate again and i'll say enable and let's see what's gonna happen Attempt to authenticate it, authenticate, right? Show authentication sessions interface ETH0 slash one detail. So Mart is authenticated, is authorized. It's using the domain data and we'll talk more about the, this again. Multi-auth, multi-host, um, single mode. We'll, talk, we'll go through it. I will show you guys that later. But basically, multi auth is the best one because every device uh, behind that port should be should use dot one x or map. That's the best option, I would say. Of course, will depend of the client, will depend of the needed, will depend of the project. But basically, I like to use multi auth because it's the best one. It's the more secure. Like uh, likewise, I like to use the uh eptls because it's also the most the most secure because we authenticate client certificates check check the service certificates and also we can use login and password as well so that's it guys for this lab we are good we have uh basic authentication using pip uh i think for today we have a great uh just remember if i use even g if you're using uh, uh or even the uh, any other simulator or emulator uh, sometimes there is some bugs and you just need to reload to disable and enable the port again that's what i'm doing since i started using eyes i used to to have uh, physical devices but since i moved to poland uh, I'm, I'm brazilian moving i already mo I moved to poland to work for cisco right now and uh, I have to leave all my devices b behind, so I don't have it anymore. But it's it's good. We, we can have some kind of authentication with using EP, P, P, TLS. We can also have Postery using EVNG. So even EVNG, it's a good uh, tool. It's a good uh, emulator to use this. So that's it, guys. God bless you. See you soon. Bye bye.